Welcome to Disney Story Time. To hear the story read to you, tap the orange button. To read by yourself, tap the red button. Beauty and the Beast. Belle and the Castle Puppy. Belle was strolling through the castle garden one chilly spring day when she heard a whimpering sound. A puppy was huddled outside the castle gates. He looked cold and dirty. Oh, you poor thing! Belle exclaimed. Belle picked up the puppy and wrapped him in her red cloak. Let's get you warmed up and fed, she said as she carried him home. Belle and the enchanted objects gave the puppy a bath. When he was clean and dry, the puppy gobbled up a bowl of warm stew. He's so cute! I hope we can keep him, said Chip the teacup. All the enchanted objects were happy to have a guest. But the Ottoman had once been a real dog, just like the puppy, and he was a little jealous of him. What if Belle liked this dog better? he worried. The Ottoman raced around the kitchen, trying to get Belle to notice him. But the puppy was barking at the door. Do you want to go out to play? Belle asked the puppy. All right, let's go. Belle opened the door, and she and the others followed the puppy outside. They didn't see the Ottoman sneak out behind them and run off the other way. A little later, the beast walked up to Belle. Someone has dug up my roses, he exclaimed. Then he saw the puppy. Did that dog ruin my garden? Get rid of him now, he roared, stomping away. A moment later, the Ottoman ran past Belle. His legs were covered in mud. The Ottoman dug up the garden, Belle exclaimed. But why? asked Lumiere the candelabrum. As Belle watched the Ottoman chase after the beast, she suddenly understood. Poor little one, she said. He just wanted some attention too. Suddenly, the puppy raced after the ottoman, and they both disappeared among the trees. Oh no! If they don't catch the beast, they'll get lost, Belle cried. I have to bring them back. But it's getting dark, Belle, Mrs. Potts protested. Belle knew Mrs. Potts was right, but she had to go. She took a deep breath, clutched her cloak tightly, and started down the shadowy path. Wait, Lumiere called to Belle. I'll come and light your way. Belle picked him up and walked into the forest. Puppy, Ottoman, she called. She hoped they'd caught up to the beast and that soon they'd all be home. Then suddenly something rustled. What is that? Lumiere whispered. I hope it's just squirrels, Belle answered. They must be very big squirrels, Lumiere replied. Nervous, Belle picked up a large stick and walked on. Then she heard loud barking not too far away. I think we found them, Lumiere eagerly exclaimed. Belle followed the sound until she came to a clearing. The ottoman and the puppy stood under a large tree. The puppy was growling and barking furiously. What's wrong? Belle asked. Then she looked around and gasped. Two large wolves were standing nearby. The puppy is protecting the ottoman, Lumiere cried. He's too small to stop those wolves for long. He needs our help, said Belle. Quickly, Belle set Lumiere on the ground and lit the stick in her hand. She ran toward the wolves, waving the flame back and forth. Get away, get away, she shouted. But the wolves didn't move. Just then, the beast charged into the clearing, and the wolves darted away. The puppy was trying to save the ottoman, Belle told the beast. 
they are brave little fellows, the beast said, scooping them both into his arms. Later that night in the castle, everyone settled in front of the fire. Belle watched the beast gently pet the ottoman and feed the puppy a bone. May the puppy stay until I can find him a home, she asked. The beast cleared his throat. His home is here, with us, he gruffly replied. Belle smiled, relieved that the beast had changed his mind. The very next day, the beast presented the puppy and the ottoman with shiny badges. From now on, you are the protectors of the castle, he told them. The puppy howled and the ottoman barked. They could not have been more proud. The End